Hey Gemini, this is your March 2021 tarot forecast. So this is for all Gemini placements. You can include third house placements as well. So Gemini, March 2021. Gemini, March 2021. Wow, these cards just want a little bit of space, okay? There we go. Gemini. Gemini, March. Okay. Okay. Whoa. All right. I am going to qualify that right away. Bottom of the deck. Okay, guys. Oh, after a major upset. Okay. Interesting. So for the whole month, the energy is moving away from something, moving towards something, movement, generally speaking here. Generally having to do with your own mind, thoughts, beliefs, etc. But typically this does indicate physical travel and it does indicate possibility of overseas travel. So we have a the outcome, obviously, I had to qualify because this is a very stuck energy. This is a very worried, sort of feeling trapped. It's self-entrapment. Um, could just be old beliefs, old arguments, too many, too many fingers in the pie when trying to um, solve a problem. Here could be the outcome, so I had to qualify it. It is around a love offer and it is around a world. It could be world travel, but there's also this sense of, you know, a brand new life. This is the portal. This is Saturnic energy. This is, you know, tectonic change, changing something altogether. It could just be about your feelings, your thoughts around how to behave regarding a love offer or some sort of sweetness, you know, some sort of, you know, something heartfelt. Um, could be from a younger person to a younger person. You could be the younger person um, regarding a whole new world. Um, and, and I do see this as possible around whether, you know, someone's coming in and doing it to you. This could be around work, play, travel, a relationship. No, this is a general reading, right? But it's something that's very meaningful for you. And I think it's important in a way for this to, you know, this is not important necessarily, but I think it's natural for this to cause some, at least some inter internal distress somehow because you're, you have to manage something here, something that bring brings you extraordinary happiness. So this is extremely important to you, so I think it's natural. Um, but I do think it's going to be successful. I see, and the reason why I'm saying this could be a love offer or something having to do with success around finding a home, uh, a new beginning around a home. Lots of fire energy here as well. At least the first row is just all about passion, um, happiness. I, you know, we have two portal cards here, right? Uh, and we do see... Not necessarily here with the world, but certainly with the Four of Wands, this is a portal. This is 11, 11, um, you know, make a wish card too, because this is a whole, it's like, it's like an initiation. You, you okay, like the fool follows this card. The fool is embarking on something they've never done before because they can't possibly have done it because it is an entirely new reality. For them and that's what this is this is the four of wands is an entirely new reality even if it's all about you and it's your travel and it's your life and your decisions and this has nothing to do with your relationship this could be you know your happy home your next leveling up becoming who you really are and this could just be about self-talk how to be kinder to yourself so really really strong positive energy though overall I want to say 
So here in the past is this, you know, passionate offer, passionate beginning. This is a, this to me is a spark of genius. This is the first phase. This is uh, there's a um, a saying. It's like you know, just make the first move. It's like that's that's the genius. It's not about anything else. You just you make the first move, and that's that's the whole point. And so this is in the recent past here just coming into March. So this is really glorious energy to even just come into the month with. It's also obviously this is a little phallic. So if this is a love or relationship reading, this is very passionate and very, you know, sensual, very sexual, um, but very positive. And it's, I would say it's well matched. Like I said, the first row is, it's nice. You have a lot of sixes, you have the sun, you know, I don't see someone or, you know, even your circumstances fighting anything off here. I just see it's a matter of possibly even strategy or um, too many people, too many people involved here. And you just need to do something on your own maybe. Um, but, uh, yeah, I ran a very, very happy home. I do want to mention here before moving on quickly, though, this does, you know, the recent past position does sit on top here of the magician. And this is having all of the elements in your possession, everything that you need to manifest exactly what it is that you want to manifest. And you could really make a dream, a cherished goal come true here quite simply. The, the odds are in your favor for sure. The situation, yes, is your, is your portal. It's your 11 level wish card, happy home. Um, this is really also extremely uh, positive regarding partnerships of any kind okay and here in the reason for it is the Sun I just want to mention as well if you're not familiar with Tarot the Sun is the most positive card in the entire deck so out of all the cards even if there were difficult cards here in your reading there aren't um, I think there are some normal cards about maybe strategy and some you know old messages to yourself about how to accomplish something but I think you're successfully fighting I think you're successfully moving through something here obviously but the Sun it at any rate is extreme uh, happiness and and total success and it's and it's you know guaranteed right this is just an obvious outcome because it's a major arcana it's not just just a happy go lucky generous card it's also more fire energy this is just pure sunlight this is pure life this could have to do with a brand new beginning um you might feel like a child this might have to do with a child um the the it, there could be a huge awakening here this could be how to cope with this major say um revelation or re revealing of intentions around a happy home as well or looking for a happy home um we do see an offer of love down here as well. So it could just be, you know, just some loving communication about the next level of your life around pure happiness. And a lot of success is guaranteed, oops, guaranteed to you is what I'm seeing here for sure. Like I said, the magician is in the now position. So you have everything you, you know, the magician, when we think of this guy, infinity so something goes on forever it's somewhat inescapable but there is this element of spells like understanding how to create spells this is virgo and gemini energy this is your energy here guys um but it's mercury ruled and mercury is all about the mind so this is interesting as well to have this um effort or action or behavior or you know um the generation of your willpower into something you want to manifest, which again makes it very likely that you will achieve it. And then the sun sort of like saying, everyone knows, you know, everyone, it's just so obvious. This is really obvious that this is happening or going to happen. So yeah, six of pentacles, more really, uh, you know, more six energy here, but this is considered just equilibrium energy. I would Sometimes I can read this as a sense of uh, breadcrumbing, you know, this this card in particular where there's this sense of someone's giving too much, someone is taking too little, little or there's an imbalance of give and take here. I think this could be 
curiously enough, this could be about the home situation here. You know, what is it that ex exactly that you need? What are you giving and what are you taking? Maybe work that out. Maybe don't stay in your mind so much about it if you are dealing with another person or other people. Maybe just be very like laid on the line and, and just put it out there and then work through any kinks, work through any knots, and then you will arrive to a fair solution. I really think that you'll arrive to a fair solution. <laughs> and then under the Six of Swords, I did want to mention that we have the Tower, and under that we have the Six of Wands and the <laughs> Queen of Wands. So this is a lot of fire, passion, super passion. You could be going into business. If that's the case here, also congratulations because this is extremely powerful. Um, you know, total, you know, this is a major victory here. And then there is like this huge tower movement, this like huge shift. Uh, the tower is a collapse. So a collapse, so a brand new, because, and it's also lovely as well. So the very last card qualifying your, your outcome is, you know, the we that, um, that world, a whole new world, guys. Your, the old world is gone. Could be another way to read that as well. <clears throat> so let's get some Oracle energy for you to polish off your reading. Overall guys, super beautiful, really positive energy here. Um, I think with any changes, remember all aces are technically a new beginning, right? Um, a new path, a new, um, new passion. So I think it's I think having this type of energy here, this somewhat sort of feeling trapped in your head, um, sparring with others, maybe some competition here. Uh, I think that's normal when you're starting something new. So maybe appreciate all elements or all parts of a plan coming together, okay? But yeah, super, super positive with that sun particularly shining over this row where, there, where you could be mm, experiencing some conflict. All right, and let's just get one more for you. It's not very often I see the sun card in a reading either, guys, so that's really nice, particularly, you know, po polishing off an entire row of... Um, wands energy so super nice guys let's get your oracles so horse energy very powerful this its keyword is power mm, this is personal power the only caveat with power is that it is um what we do with it okay there's such a thing as power with others and there's such a thing as power over others being empowered empowering others etc etc so make sure you're, if, if this is about a union, if this is about a coming together or um, something coming to life that you want to manifest here, just make sure that you're sharing power, that there's an equilibrium here. And, you know, do it with heart. Come from the heart with it so that, so that it helps enhance the next level for you. Um, you know, share your power. Appreciate um, what each or all individuals or elements bring to the relationship or situation and um, help other people use their power and don't abuse their power and don't abuse your power. Uh, but power is just a really important word here this month for you. Listening is very important. I do read this as listening to your angel guides, listening to your higher power, um, asking for uh, you know, spiritual guidance at this time, if you believe in God, if you believe in any of their archangels, Mother Mary, anything like that. Listening is very important. Listening to someone, you know, just your angel guides in general. Here, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Uh, yeah, I would. <laughs> this is really nice. I do feel like it's going to be a really positive interaction here in March. A lot of positive energy. A really nice flow. Um, and then mending. How beautiful is this? And, and this is this even this is even if this is overseas in terms of your emotions, the seas of your heart, or if this is in a mind or a communication, um, the six is technically movement and moving overseas, um, movement away from troubled waters, etc. But this could just be about within yourself or with one other person in particular. It could just be, you know, let's Let's move on from the rough times. Let's start over. Let's start anew. It's a really beautiful reading. It's very exciting, that's for sure. 
uh, for you, Gemini. So that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed it and take excellent care. Bye for now.